Hey yo, what's up? Marjorie here and welcome to another Tuesday Night Twist where anything can happen. And well, today we are back with Dreamcatcher. It's been quite a while and now we are going to be checking out their Bon Voyage MV, which I believe is the third installment in their Apocalypse trilogy, right? So following my son and Vision, now we have Bon Voyage. And so let's just get right to it uh, and check it out. See what Dreamcatcher has in store for us at the conclusion of this particular uh, trilogy arc. So here we go. Yuyon? Ooh, that sounds quite heavenly. Okay, there we go with the rock undertones. Or overtones. Oh man, oh man, I've missed Dreamcatcher's sound. It has been quite a while. Ooh, then the pullback. Oh, that is such a striking image. The orange. It's Gaia. Ooh, the scene changes. Whoa, this scenery. And what was that floating white thing in the back? I don't know how to mix this. Of course. I'm guessing that we're gonna have re some really deep lore here. That. I might not be able to figure out that well. Ooh! Those were some powerful effects. And some powerful vocals. Ooh. This chorus just exploded with energy. I really love all this effects and scenery. Ooh. What is that thing? Such a smooth rap line from Dami. Slow build up. And we get into it. Ooh. This song just feels so epic. That was just so full of symbolism. Was Sion doing the high note there? I think so. Ooh. There was something with the layering there. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was Dreamcatcher's Bon Voyage. And I felt like that was like so chock full of references that I might not, that probably flew over my head. Because it's been a while since I watched the... Uh, MVs of Dreamcatcher. Like, I have Dreamcatcher songs on my playlist, so I still listen to them, but like almost every day. 
But yeah, it's been a while since I've seen the MVs, and so I don't quite know uh, what's going on in this one. But it all looks so cool, like all those effects, the scenery, the striking contrasts, uh, just felt like something epic was going on. So if any of you would like to help me out with some explanation or exposition in the comment section down below, I'd really, really appreciate it. Also, I've really, really missed that Dreamcatcher sound. And, you know, the... They really have embodied the spirit of you know, rock in K-pop. And also, the, the layering of oh, when... They're... Uh, Sorry, the layering of that part near the ending when they're just repeating the words Bon Voyage, Bon Voyage. There was something in there that kind of reminded me of of like an another older Dreamcatcher song. One of the ones that are kind of metal. Not sure if it's like reminding me of Scream or something else that's similar. But yeah, something in the layering that uh, kind of the distorts in the vocals towards that ending portion there. <clears throat> and also like I like how they release their energy here I don't know how else quite to put it it's like a lot of energy bursts from the song in the chorus but if you listen to it carefully it actually feels controlled and measured so, that's a nice nuance over there. And yeah. Uh, it just sounded really, really epic. As most Dreamcatcher tracks tend to feel like. But this one sounded quite special on its own so uh, we get these feelings of intensity that uh, seems a bit new no not quite new but like uh, it seems to be at a level that only been reached before a couple of times if at all. Now uh, once or twice, if at all. And so this intensity really drives the music as well as the vibes that we're getting from the MV. And yeah, it just evokes this feeling that something bigger and something beyond ourselves is like happening all around. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta say, overall, I really like this track. Uh, most especially the MV. It might be <coughs> uh, one of Dare I say, like, one of my top favorite MVs from them. I mean, MV-wise, as a visual experience to go along with the music. Yeah, it might easily be one of my top favorite MVs from them. I won't say the top, because there are, they also have some other striking MVs in the past. But this one... 
yeah really evoke the the feelings from the music quite well anything else to mention over here particular member that caught my attention actually no one in particular I was just excited to see each and every one of them. Yeah. Dami, Handong, Jiyu, Yuyon, Sua, Gayon, and Sion. Just like. It just felt so cool seeing them all again. After it, it really feels like it's been a while since I've checked out. A Dreamcatcher MV. Now I feel like binging <laughs> their MVs again. <laughs> yeah, because uh, like they have tracks on. I have their track. Some of their tracks on my daily playlist. But that's just like audio. Kinda brought back the excitement of going through a Dreamcatcher MV because like they always have such interesting uh, lore and uh, like their MVs usually all feel you know very very epic. There's no other word for it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other words like. Like legendary, magical, none of them quite fit. Epic really is the word here. Anyways, uh, that's probably it for my reaction to Dreamcatcher's Bon Voyage MV. And so that rounds up the Apocalypse Trilogy of Dreamcatcher. And yeah, please, let me just repeat this request once again. If any of you can help explain or explain uh ha have some exposition on what this what this mv means in the world of dreamcatcher i'd really appreciate the help in the comment section down below so yeah let's wrap it up there don't forget to like comment and subscribe also feel free to check out my patreon where i also post reactions to longer form content more casual content most of which is available for free you can probably see the titles pop up here on the side uh, and there's also some extra perks set aside for those who are kind enough to, su to subscribe, such as reactions to K-drama and anime for tier 1 subscribers, which actually you can try out for free for 7 days. So I have a 7 day uh, seven day free trial activated for tier 1, so you can check out my reactions to K-drama and anime. You'll probably see the titles pop up here sometime towards the end of my spiel. And yeah, you can check that out. Uh, then tier two and up, uh, tier two patrons get uh, early access to recording some reaction videos, and then tier three gets priority when it comes to uh, recommendations. Actually, not just priority. I definitely react to uh, whatever those in tier three suggest. So guaranteed uh, reactions to recommendations. Uh, but don't get too fussed about all that. Like I said, most of the stuff on my Patreon is available for free. So don't be afraid to check it out. The link to my Patreon is in the description down below. As well as a link to a spreadsheet containing the free access content on my Patreon. Which you might want to check out first because it's more easily... The content over there is more easily navigable and accessible. So once again, the link to that is in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this exciting and epic journey with Dreamcatcher. Have a great day, everyone, and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.